Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com. If you haven't already, click that button and subscribe to our channel. On the menu today, we're going to be making some fried dumplings. Let me run through some ingredients. Over here, I've got some all-purpose flour, two cups, baking powder, three teaspoons, salt, one teaspoon, and here I've got some butter, three tablespoons of an unsalted butter. We're going to also use some cold water. I would estimate about half to three quarters of a cup. Let's get moving. So first of all, you're gonna need a kind of decent sized bowl. Our flour's already in there. Let's now add our salt and our baking powder. And simply, we're gonna use our hands for this, make sure your hands are nice and clean. Just combine those guys together. Now we're gonna add the butter. And that goes. And we're gonna get this in. And we're gonna squeeze it together and mix it around. Do this for, take about three or four minutes. Combining it all together. Once that's done, I'll be back. So as you can see, we've got a kind of crumble type of mixture now. And if I squeeze that together, Kind of stays there, a little bit crumbly, you know? Slightly moist, but crumbly. Now, if you wanted, you could use margarine. I just prefer butter. Now it's time to add some water. I'm using cold water, and like I say, between about half a cup and three quarters of a cup of cold water. And what you want to do is slowly add it and give it a mix. We're now going to try and create a nice dough. So knead this. Mix it in, add a bit more water if you need to. You might not need all of the water. We'll end up with a kind of one ball, one large shape. And I'm just gonna mix this around for, it's gonna take me another couple of minutes. I'll be back. Okay, and then you can see I've got that ball together. I actually used about half a cup, not three quarters. But you've got one nice big lump there. It feels really light and airy. What we need to do now, get some shrink wrap on that or cling film, or plastic wrap, whatever you call it. Pop that in your refrigerator, give it 10 to 15 minutes, then we'll be back. There we go, as you can see, that's sort of slightly puffed up a bit. There you go, nice ball we've got here. Now, I don't know how many I'm gonna get, I might get about eight here, that sort of size I'm going for. Make them into a ball, and then just slightly press them down like, like a burgery kind of thing, so they've got a little bit of a flat edge. So we'll just repeat that process. There you go. Nice little ball, little flat edge. I mean, you don't have to do them like this, you can do them any size you like. You can make them flatter than this if you prefer. Entirely up to you. And then what I like to do as well, I like to just give them a little prod on each side with a fork. Let me finish that process and I'll be back. There you go, actually ended up with six, one, two, three, four, five, six, not eight, but there you go. Depends on which size you want them. Really simply now, we're gonna get over to the cooker and fry them off. Okay, so let's move on. I've got a pan here with about a centimeter or so of, today I'm using a corner, or you could use sunflower or canola, that's up to you. Many people, deep fry their dumplings. Let's just check this out by the way. That's good, they're gonna go in. This is a good temperature. We don't want the, the oil to be really, really hot. I mean, you're, they're just gonna burn on the outside and then there'll be like a big dough in the middle. Some people shallow fry them, some people 
deep fry them as I say. I'll go for like a kind of centimetre or so of oil. Now you can see we're not raging, we're not making french fries here, but it is kind of at a decent temperature. Leave them for like a minute or so, let them just kind of settle down and then you can flip them over. I'll see you in a moment. Okay, that was literally like a minute or so, so let's just take a look. Let's get a fork underneath. Yeah, you can feel that they're sort of toughened up a little bit. So at that stage, you can just flip it. And you've got that kind of golden brownness. Now, if they're too dark now, here, this means your oil's too hot. So turn the temperature down if that's the case. Now, depending on the size of them, you know, if you make a big, fat, thick dumpling like that, you're going to have to cook them really slow. I mean, some some people I've seen I've seen dumplings like you know like cricket balls. I mean, they're enormous. And then some people make them really flat, any shape you like, really. But just yeah, keep that in mind when you're cooking them. The fatter and thicker they are, the more they need to be cooked. Okay, so this golden brown, look at that, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. We actually need it a bit darker than that. So again, in about a minute or so, I'm gonna flip them and I'm gonna do that a couple of times. And I may even stick them on their sides to get a little bit of that, you know, the sides sorted out. See you in a minute. These are looking super now. I've turned them a couple of times, so we've been going about five minutes, I suppose, now. Now, just another thing to add. I'm telling you about the temperature of the oil and not having it too hot. You certainly don't want it too cool either, because they'll just soak up and you'll just get loads and loads of oil in them. So they do need to be, just check out the bubbles that are happening around there. How is it? So we want to fry them. So look, nice and crispy now. There you go, they're darkening. That's kind of how I like them. Beautiful. Okay, that's about it. They're going to come out now. Onto some kitchen towel, just to get rid of any excess oil. And I'll show you on the plate. Okay, there we go. They're done. Piping, piping hot. Quite difficult for me to touch. Let me see. Oh yeah, they are hot. So there you can see just there. I like them like that. Nice kind of soft in the middle. Nice and, you can hear that, crispy and crunchy on the outside. Hope that's helped. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you soon. Lots of love. Bye-bye.